Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for more Killers Dead. My name is Elsa Cruz, and we just barely scraped by the giant who stole the world, or the earth, I believe. And in this part, we're going to get started. Actually, let's go ahead and get started with episode 10. I want to get this BS out of the way, because after 10, we have episode 11, which is the third of the dream sequences. And fortunately, this one uh, gives us a bit of reprieve in that sense. So let's get started. The Carrier of Love which is a locomotive located in Russia. Yes, that we're going to be hijacking a train and be doing some nonsense on there. So, yes, to get our bend and stretch band, we must squat at least 20 times, which I don't see us having a problem with because you can do this at literally any point in the mission. So let's get started in Eurasia, ladies and gentlemen. My least favorite mission in this game. Enjoy. Tommy. No, oh, you poor thing, Tommy. How do you feel? A new surge of power? Take a look. There's our target. Ah, now I understand why you so quickly took the initiative on this mission. All right, you can take point on this one. What does she mean? Men have always had a romance with steam engines. All that power, the mechanical form. It's not a job for women and children. Ain't that right, Mondo? That's right. Railways are a man's passion. Because that would make a lot of sense. Makes me a stowaway, but we have no choice. Sir, please be careful. Don't worry. I've got a man's passion on my side. If we can pull this one off, we're throwing a pierogi party. Yeah! Can we do borscht instead of pierogies? Pierogies give me indigestion. I'll be waiting for you in Moscow. Good luck, kid. Don't the job? Killer is dead. So I'll admit that was kind of badass, but the fact that they were waiting like on a hill watching it go by at the beginning kind of was weird because it's like, oh yeah, there it goes. Uh, what do we do now? So, I don't know. This level also is... It just whines for so long. If you guys looked at the cutscene, which you probably shouldn't have at this point, I don't even know why I'm not talking over those. It's just, I don't, I don't even know why I don't. But 
It's just, I don't know. It showed only four train carts, like two inside and two out, but there are far more than that. And it's kind of just one of those things where it's just like, really? And of course I get hit right on his last hit. All right, fine, fuck you. And also, you know what, you can go, not you. God, they always, he always goes towards the person least needing to die this way. It was way too much blood to do that normally. So we're on a train and it's going on the Maverick Dash. And I forgot these guys were here actually. And I don't know, it's just, it just wears on for way too long. And like, I really like the nighttime aesthetic here, you know, and being the snow type area and, you know, being on a train. It's, it's, it's a cool concept, but for some reason, it doesn't do it for me. And the boss is extremely underwhelming, like more so than any other boss in this entire game. So, I don't know, I guess, I guess that's that. But can you, of course, I can't like, uh, I can't see any of the enemies. So I can't dictate my, Con my countering very well. Thank you, camera, for being particularly amazing here. So I'm just recording this kind of right after that last one, which might not have been a bad idea, but or might not have been a great one. But you know, who cares? We got to finish this game off sooner or later. Yeah, and it's wow, that guy did a lot of damage. I guess a spiked club to the back of the head. We'll have the tendency to do that sometimes, as well as uh, killing your buddies there. Well, there we go. There are, I do believe, three scarlets over the course of this level. First of which is actually in here. And it's kind of annoying, this room. I had a little bit of trouble the first time I played it because this game gives you absolutely no indication of what you have to do. Oh, hold on just a second. I kind of want to see something real fast. Okay, so it kind of hinted at it, but you have to shoot these things in order to open the door that leads uh, to the next area. But I want to see. Okay, so we've got decapitated wires here. Okay, I thought these guys would come out because they have not come out yet, so ever. Uh, if we press this button here, this uh, very nice touchpad of great justice. Well, hey, how's it going, Scarlet? All right, let's see if we can do this. Whoop, boom. Damn it. All right, well, thank you, camera. <laughs> Look at the camera. What are you doing? Oh, thanks for moving your mouth there, too. Okay, the camera is a little bit, uh, a little bit drunk. So we got a little bit of blood from Miss Scarlet, the, uh, the witch, apparently. And this room is kind of annoying as well because we've got some people on the catwalks as well as on the ground there. So let's go do this, actually. Um, you all can die. <laughs> That would be fine by me, and okay, thanks for not changing anything there. Alright, boom, there. Okay, go change, change your, thank you. It was being really delayed there. Alright, let's see, let's do this actually. Ah, oh, apparently, I don't know, I've never really done that before where I would just like, well, I wanted to, mm, never mind. Alright, fine, this is what we can do. Shoot you in the face? God, I just want to shoot you in the face without you doing anything, and there's more enemies. That's great, alright, fine. We'll do it your way. This isn't Burger King, and I don't even know if those exist in Japan, but you can have it your way because I'm pretty sure that's a catchphrase somewhere down there in some strange manga or anime, or anime, or however the hell people do that. And I wasn't aiming for his head, but we can still get a headshot off that. No big deal. All right, so, oh, goddamn, people have guns. So annoying. I'm going to die here, aren't I? I? This is not a level to die on either. It's not very difficult whatsoever. We've got a lot of blood off it, though. See, look at it. it just it doesn't even it, it does a lot more damage than it does on lower difficulties obviously but still all right you know what? this is what's gonna happen I'm gonna go kill all of you and then you can go home with your parents and uh, go have a nice little chicken dinner with them because that is what you need to deserve do you guys remember that like I remember back in the day where if you beat somebody like in uh, in a game just like a regular you know first person shooter deathmatch and you beat them by doubling their score, more than double the score. Was it, for some reason people called it like uh, turkey dinner, I think, or turkey steak or something random. I never understood that. It's like, oh, let's get, let's get steak or something. And like, God, we did no damage to this prick whatsoever. All right, well, let's just get this going. He's, he's gonna try and, uh, God, di wow, that apparently hurt me enough to do that. Do you see this? Do you see this? Why are these guys, Okay, that is very unnecessary damage to be doing to me, good sir. Don't miss. You're gonna make sure you need to hit that shot to me. Okay, so there. Thank you. This this game. I don't even know why I bother playing this anymore. See, look at you can't dodge that whatsoever. It's just there. It's like you have. To, they shoot literally at random. That was the last guy in this area. Thank God. I don't think there's anything else in here. There's a drill bit right over here, but I have no blood to use it on. That is great, and this part also is extremely annoying. Actually, that's not the part. Um, anything else over here maybe we need to know about? Because that would be really nice. Ooh, there's some blood in here. I would really appreciate it. Um, actually, I think that that drill bit area actually just leads us to health, so that wouldn't help us at all. 
Yeah, it's just right over here. It's like we need to drill through this <laughs> very strange item. Oh, nice. Thank you. Appreciate it. Let's just see, just for curiosity's sake. Okay, and uh, anything in here? We got nothing. Uh, we got a lot of health here. There's, is this a full heal? You don't see these too often, but I can't grab it because um, game doesn't game doesn't let me. <laughs> the game cheated it out of me. He obviously didn't think I was worth it. That might just be only health. I'm not sure if there's one that restores both of them. <laughs> that was so mean of the game. Uh, all right, let's get out of here. I'm done with this place. I'm done. What's this? So if you guys recall uh, Resident Evil Revelations, that bit where you had to run up the side of the ship, well, similar thing right here. Check it out. There's going to be these. Oop, oh, and I got hit by it there. What happened there? Something happened with this green there. So there goes one half of the container. And we look at how much we have left. Not that much, right? We just have that little bit. But it feels like so much more. And we're going to have... Oh, no. This does not look good. Okay, this is what's going to happen. We're going to have that guy shooting at us all the while. And eventually, that hit me. That did not. Okay, good. So these guys are going to be pricks as he's knocking over his buddies there. He's like, oh, I want to get him. I really want to get him. I'm going to show my worth, you guys. All right, Brian is indeed here to save the day. He brings us his handy-dandy trusty turret. But this is kind of a weird turret. I don't think this is the same one as the last one because this actually has three modes to attack, all of which use the same button. I'm not even lying. Okay, so you shoot this thing to shoot randomly, and you'll notice, actually, he knocked me off the goddamn turret. Thanks a lot, game. Um, you shoot it, you'll notice those blue things coming out of it. Can you piss off? I shot you in the face with the turret made for Mr. Brian. And they're just going to be puppy guarding the hell out of that, aren't they? Uh, Brian, I would appreciate a little bit of your assistance here. I don't know if you noticed this, but I'm kind of getting my ass handed to me by these pricks. Also, you don't get any uh, things from them, like any nonsense. So that's always nice, and I'm getting shot by something. All right, so let me, okay, so you're shooting those blue shots, and you're also shooting regular turret shots. But when you let go of the right trigger, it'll also send off a missile. So it's kind of odd that that's a thing. Okay, thank you. God, look at this. This game is ridiculous. And this game does that really annoying thing where pretty much you have to kill the enemies in order to actually destroy the weak points that they want us to. Case in point, right over here we've got ourselves these things. And you can't destroy them all until after you defeat a certain number of uh, people as, uh, as they are spawning. So we can only destroy one and then we have to kill three of those guys and so on. And it's ridiculous and I don't like it. And it's just one of those stupid game hindrances that I'm pretty sure I mentioned Lollipop Chainsaw as well as other games. Like, it's just one of those, those super quick, see, they just come out of nowhere. It's, it's, it, it, it destroys the fine line between, you know, fun video gameness and just random other bullshit. Okay, so up there you'll notice there's actually a ladder. Um, that ladder will actually lead us to something nice if you'll take a nice little listen. 